have on the Peter's Day Pretty Back with another deck review. This is the Fifth and World. I can't see anything just because of the light. Uh, the Fifth and World deck from 311. And it says Fifth and World on the front with all four pips and quality playing cards. And that is all uh, a gold foil. And probably if I take this out of the cellophane, you can see it a little bit better. So I'm slightly embossing on these details. Nice blue pattern. This pattern, as you also see on the back design, uh, I should say that this deck, Fifth and World, is um, inspired by and possibly produced by a historic building from San Diego, built in 1965. And this pattern, this blue color, uh, the blue and white triangle shapes, you can actually find that in the building. I think that has a little bit of that right on the front of the building outside and also inside. So, it, perfect fit for using that on a deck of playing cards. See more of that on the sides and the top. The bottom, more gold foil, manufactured for Gift and Laurel, San Diego, California, made in the USA. Back, uh, quality playing cards designed by Wrapped Studio for Fifth and Laurel, San Diego, California. And then you get a custom embossed seal which has a sun with a logo in it of some sort, and it's a stamp type seal, a gold. On a flap, more gold foil, it says Legends Never Die, which is true. And here, established 19. 65. These decks were released through Pig 11 exclusively to Elite members about a week ago. Uh, I was able to grab one. Probably should have grabbed more, but I didn't. And unfortunately, or fortunately, they did release it to everyone late last week, and then they've since sold out. And this is, this video is being recorded at the beginning of May, so this was it was released in the last week of April <clears throat> to members and then at the very end of the month to everyone, whatever was left, which is not a lot. I'm guessing that they did not have a whole lot, that most of them went to 5th and Laurel. Anyway, you did get an ad card that says 5th and Laurel. Quality point cards with the four tips, the other side is the same. It almost maybe looks like there's a little bit of gold foil on some of these cards. You do get a double backer as well. Very nice pattern for a back design. It's a bit... The, the borders are pretty thin, pretty even. Maybe a little bit thick on one end, but nothing major. The Joker is pretty simple. This one's gold. The Joker in the corner is next to the sun. Looks like he's asleep. And the other one, blue, and it's the moon. Ace of Spades, very nice. Kind of a retro style artwork, and it says... Quality playing cards, designed by Rap Studio for Fit the Wall, San Diego, California. And all the aces are nice and custom. As you can see, the hearts and diamonds have kind of a copper color, and it does look like it has metallic inks. At least in the pips. Here's your clubs and your diamonds. Court cards, fairly simple, completely custom. But also, you know, they look fairly traditional. You see the blue and copper colors throughout. Again, like with uh, a couple other decks I reviewed recently, the bricks come to mind. A lot of empty space that they could have used to put a pip in there, or maybe even they say this made the index a little bit bigger because it's pretty small. There's just no reason for excess blank space, I think. But they're very nice. So them quickly. If I'm going too fast, you can always pause and rewind. <clears throat> and then number cards, nice blue pips and the copper pips. Custom orientations. Definitely not a stereotypical Fury 11 deck like Winsons V Citizens deck, <laughs> which is a nice change. <clears throat> so let's look at this a little bit closer. So it is a nice change of pace from 311. It's something completely custom. They always seem to be working with different companies who are producing decks and then they sell some. And that's one of the benefits of being an elite member is you get dibs. <laughs> Let's 
still better than being a black club member, I think. Overall, for the rack design, I think it's based on what I've seen from pictures and how this is basically, you know, a design feature in the building. I think it makes perfect sense. Plus, it's going to look good for fanning and fluorescing, as you can see. So why not? So I will give it maybe four and three quarters, five out of five. I think it's pretty cool. It's something different from 311. So I like it. And I like the color as well. Faces, again, I really like them. I think they're interesting and unique. Some people are not a big fan. Some people like them. I like them. I'm going to say five out of five. Handling wise, feels like a pretty standard 311 deck with a air cushion finish or premium 909 finish as I like to call it and a aristocrat stock I do believe which is one of my favorite combinations so I'm gonna say probably five out of five or maybe four and three quarters out of five I apologize if the lighting's a little bit wacky for some reason it looks like it is anyway overall pretty cool deck Probably a 5 out of 5, 4 and 3 quarters out of 5. I like it. I'm going to say 5 out of 5 just because I like to see Fury 11 doing something that's completely custom as this is. And instead of just the same old, same old like the Citizen. So, awesome. I like it. Don't forget to check out collectiblepointcards.com, playingcards.net, and cardpoint.com. Comment and, of course, discount codes and links in the description box below. Make sure you support this channel by supporting those websites. That's what I got. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.